try Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving Hello everyone I am so happy to have the camera back up and to be filming a regular vlog and content and I'm feeling good and recovering well and diving back into DIYs and all the things this channel is about. If you are new and you're watching for the first time, this is about cooking, planning, organizing, DIY, decorating, literally you will find something to connect with on this channel but mostly it's about being kind to each other and ourselves and building a really positive and amazing community i want to thank all of you again over on instagram you have been so loving as i've gradually gotten back there and now i'm back on youtube uh i just appreciate all the love and support and advice and uh all the positive vibes you've sent my way. It has meant more than you will ever know. And I am so incredibly grateful for all of you. It is a rainy day and it is going to be rainy all day. Sadly, Stephen and Bubba's saw a break in the weather and they ventured out for a quick walk and it is now pouring. I will have a wet husband and a wet dog when they arrive home. This weekend, we'll see what we get into. I have an update on the house. If you're following me on Instagram, you already know what it is. And um, I have some products that were sent to me that I've had time to review and get to know a little bit more, and I'm excited to share those with you. Just lots of little updates and things to talk about as we go about this rainy start to the weekend. But I hope all of you are doing really great and that the last week has treated you really well. Also, if you are new, as we go through this vlog, if there's something you like, I'll try while I'm editing to link everything down below for you. So you don't have to ask. I'll try to connect as many things as possible um, in the description box below. And we are just going to jump into a regular weekend vlog. So, oh, it's good to be back. I'm about to get ready for the day and I wanted to share two fragrances that were sent to me from the company Dossier. Dossier creates inspired fragrances from luxury brands at a much more affordable price point. I love to switch out my fragrances and I love fragrances. I believe that they are all unisex because smell is personal and you like what you like. One of my favorites for spring and summer is Tom Ford's Rose Prick. Um, in the fall, winter, my favorite Tom Ford fragrance, which I'm currently out of, is Tobacco Vanille. Now, this bottle, 50 mils, is about $300. So, you feel guilty using it. Dossiers run between $30 and $50. So, they send them in a really cute box. And they have Oriental Tobacco, which is their version of Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. What I love that Dossier does is they send it sealed, but also a little travel size, sample size. So you can try the sample before unsealing the bottle. So if you don't like it, you can send it back no cost. I think it's an amazing concept, especially because fragrances can be so expensive and people like to switch them out by season. They have a plethora of different fragrances inspired by different brands but I really, really appreciate the price point and the accessibility that they're giving to people. I love a smoky vanilla. I also really like the spicy vanilla. It has like a peppery scent and it is inspired by Tom Ford's Noir. So, love them. They were also kind enough to give us a discount. So there's a link down below. Not only will you get 20% off for your first purchase, they're going to give you an additional 10% off with my link. So you're getting 30% off. I can't say enough. I'm really pleased with them. Now, will I always buy fragrances? Yes, but I will always turn to Dossier as well, and I'm really pleased with it. So check them out if you're looking for an affordable luxury scent. 
you were following me on Instagram this week, you know that I tackled our stairwell and hallway painting. I will tell you what, my friends, it was a huge undertaking. I had planned on hiring people to do it. The cost was so much and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a whirl, I'm gonna do my best and I'm gonna figure it out. I wanna spin you around and show you how it turned out. If you remember, our hallway was, I think, Stonington Gray or Pebbleton Gray, I'll have to check, by Benjamin Moore, my favorite paint. And it was a little dark. The walls had shown some scuffs after five, six years of living in this house and moving furniture around. It just looked a little worn, just like this guy coming up the steps in his old age. You mean the other one that's following me. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Watch how slow he takes the steps. We're upstairs. You taking a breather? You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. <laughs> All right, anyway, I wanted to brighten it up and I wanted to find a white that was warm without being yellow. This color is called floral white. I'm going to tell you all right now, our trim is also floral white, but in a different finish. That is satin. And I did the walls in eggshell to make it reflect light and look different, but it's actually the same color we used on our trim. So the floral white, oh, sorry, the focus is going in and out. So the floral white runs up the stairwell and down the hall. And I love how clean and beautiful it looks. It just turned out absolutely perfectly. This is a DIY. You can find all the directions for my Instagram. It's an old canvas and then I converted it to this painting by primering it, painting over it, doing this rough edge rectangle and black. And then I added a new wreath. I had an olive leaf, but I ended up finding this boxwood and I really liked it. Lots of you have asked about these black and white prints. They're pictures from trips that we've taken a little montage of some of our trips, not all of them, but I see Versailles, Rome, Amsterdam, Estremoz on there, Madrid, Toledo, a couple places we have been, and I have them on that wall. Those frames are from Target, super reasonable. Then if we move down the hall, I had originally thought that I was going to only do the floral white to here and then something warmer there, but I loved how clean and crisp it all looked and I could not pass it up. So I did the floral white and everything. And then if you go down our hallway, you'll see we have this really cool angled wall that I wanted to draw attention to. So I ended up wallpapering it with this brush stroke wallpaper and then positioned the mirror on this side of the table in order to capture the reflection. I really like how that looks. And I replaced the table I built. Now that table is not gone, we're gonna be using it in a different space. However, I have had my eye on this Studio McGee piece from Target for quite some time. It is $330 and I walked in and it was on sale for 160 because the three knobs were broken, which I went and bought new knobs that I like more for $12 at Lowe's. Then, when I got it up to the counter, this tiny scratch here and this little worn spot on this corner there, they gave me an additional percent off. Plus I used my red card, debit card, got another 5% off. I ended up getting this table for 150. It is super heavy. The tracks for the drawers are so nice. I think I'm going to put like guest stuff in there so they can come here and grab something if they need it. And then all the other pieces I already had, except I did pick up that lamp and that mirror. But the way this hallway looks, I'm so, so happy with it. I have some wallpaper that I need to return. Switch plates became a little bit more challenging. So I bought white ones from Amazon. They're actually my favorite kind. They came and I did not like the white against it because it wasn't perfect. So I spray painted them gold with my favorite gold spray paint and I love how they turned out. I 
think they add like a little bit of fun. I also wanted to mix my metals up here. So I have some black iron, the stainless steel on some of the doors and then the gold, which brings out the gold in our two sconces in the stairs. But the difference is incredible. The only other change that I made, and it's not done yet, is this is my office. And what I ended up doing, let's get over here. I had originally an arch here painted and I wanted to simplify it. What I ended up doing is painting it the whole way up the wall. And I'm going to add a couple vintage paintings from an antique store. I plan on doing that this week. Maybe I'll take you guys with me on this wall and kind of do like a really neat collage. Other than that, the only thing I've switched up in my office is I found some vintage plates that I hung and changed up my artwork. I found these two pieces over here that I really like. They had like a vintagey old find. And then to neutralize my bookcases, I ended up flipping all my books seam side out. I just love how it kind of neutralizes what can be very visually busy. My next thing that I want to do is I think I'm going to spray paint the white metal all uh, black and then I might do something to jazz this piece up. So those are some house updates. My battery needs charged. I see it blinking at me. So we will go ahead and charge up and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. It is such a rainy, dreary day. We ended up napping all afternoon, but now I need to get a workout in. So going to get on the Peloton. Still absolutely loving our little Peloton room set up it works so well i've also been doing hot yoga probably two to three days a week so i got this really awesome space heater from amazon it heats up it's ceramic 95 degrees really quick it's a small space so it works really well and then i got this really cool temperature gauge from magnolia and it really kind of goes with the vibe in here and i do my yoga. Ugh. All right, let's get this done. Good morning, everybody. I'm sorry I didn't film anymore. Nothing <laughs> exciting happened. After I worked out, I got cleaned up and then Steven ended up making dinner. We had just grilled chicken and broccoli and then went to bed pretty much. So I woke up at 1 a.m. and waited for the Studio McGee launch, which didn't land until 3 a.m. And I hurried up and got all the pieces I wanted from their July 18th launch for the fall. Um, I have one piece that I'm waiting for pickup. Hopefully we get it because they'll go to take it off the shelf while people are shopping. So we'll see if we get that piece. And then, yeah, that's what's going on. So I have a couple things that we're gonna get through today. But first I need to get my morning started. I wanna show you something that I've been using. Um, I saw it on Instagram from Shannon Bedore, a housewife from Orange County that I love, and I'm going to show it to you, and I love it so far. So she has started a company, Real for Real, and in this is lemon, cayenne pepper, lemon oil, and turmeric. You shake it up, you put it in a little shot glass of water, and you take it twice a day. Really, really enjoying it. I used to do like the lemon and cayenne and maple syrup shenanigans. This um, is good for your immune system, metabolic system, all of those things. And I've been really enjoying it. Love it. All right, friends, I am getting ready to go to Trader Joe's. I want to pick up some flowers. We're going to do some flower arranging today, show you how I've been doing it. Um, I also need a couple groceries for dinner and lunch today and for the week. So we're going to do that. But Studio McGee, I was able to buy almost everything online because some of the stores, like the stock is just too iffy. There was this beautiful light brown chair that I desperately want. I have a vision for how it could look in the house. And one Target in our area had it. So I'm going to go pick it up. And I need to lay a sheet down in the car. But I guess I should show you because some of you already scouted it out on Instagram. We got a new car. So this is our new car. This is 
a Tesla Model Y with the black wheels and we're in love with it. We were going back and forth between a Y and an X. The X was more comparable to the XC90 by Volvo that we had, which was too big for us. And this is actually a little bit bigger than my 60 by a few inches. However, I like that size more, so we ended up going with it and we are both in love with it. It's so much storage. I'm able to haul everything that I would in my 60 and probably even more because the storage is so great because there's no engine. But with that light brown chair, I'm nervous if we scoot it across this black, I'm gonna get some transfer. So I'm gonna lay a sheet down. Once I get in the car, I'll show you a little bit about it that I love. I love how simple and just overall simplistic it is. I really, really appreciate that. I also love the whole ceiling is glass with no beam going through it. So I think it's the coolest thing ever. A couple things that we changed on the inside. I had a wood inlay put here. This is usually like a carbon black, but I wanted all my woods to match. So I did a wood inlay here, which I'm really, really happy with. It's perfect. And they matched it from the dash to the console really well. The interface is so easy to work. And I found because I had a Volvo, they had a huge screen in the center. I was used to commanding my car from that screen. So for me, it wasn't a big change to go to this. Actually, it's easier because the screen is larger and not having anything here because you don't have any like dials behind the steering wheel. Everything is visually on the car, but it actually, for me, it's been a really simple transition. It's so roomy. Everyone that gets in it can't get over how spacious it is because it doesn't look, I don't know. There are times where I think it looks really big and then there's times where I don't, but comparably it's a little bit larger than an XC60, but I believe it's a half an inch shorter, but wider and longer than that car for a comparison to other smaller SUVs. I am back from Target, I'm getting ready to work out, but I wanna get dinner going, so I'm gonna show you how I do that really quickly. I'm not sure what this La Crusade pan is called. I use it for everything. The reason I use it is because it has these little spouts that I can turn. So I'm gonna get that heated on medium high. Turn on light so you can see. And I am going to get this piece of meat out and I'm going to just sear all sides of this meat and get out my, I have my workout shoes ready to go so I don't forget. Let me get out my crock pot. This cabinet is a mess. All right. We'll get this bad guy going. Um, I'm probably, what time is it? It's 10.30. Let's go. We'll do high for six hours. All right. The only other thing I need to do is grab an onion from the pantry. I don't think I have any onions left, so we'll have to go with shallots. And then I need some carrots. And I think I had, please tell me I didn't use all my carrots up this week. Nope, all right. All right, friends, we're about ready to assemble. I have the meat searing on all sides. When I do pot roast with vegetables, I kind of love them in big chunks. So I have three russets cut into really big pieces, two shallots quartered, and then my carrots just cut in wedges. This is going to be controversial, but I don't peel my carrots when I'm cooking them in stews and stuff. I just give them a really good scrub with my vegetable scrubber. All right, that meat should be seared on all sides. I'm gonna transfer it over to the crock pot and then we're gonna deglaze that pan. I'm going to deglaze with some red wine. I have some Pinot Noir. Never use a wine in cooking that you wouldn't drink. So I'm just gonna put some red wine 
let that alcohol cook out and I'm gonna get one of my wooden spatulas. I always use a wooden spatula and I'm just going to start breaking down and scraping off all that goodness. I don't do measurements. I'm probably going to do a little over a cup. I'm going to grab, I never say it right, so I'll just show you the bottle, you all know what it is. I'm gonna add some of that into this. Like I said, I cook like my mom, I don't measure things. So I'm just gonna scrape down these sides. I'm gonna get off as much as I can. It's actually, oh, I wish you guys could smell that. I'm gonna pile in my vegetables now. I will tell you, when I use a shallot instead of a regular onion, I don't add any garlic because shallots give off a sweeter, milder taste and I don't feel that I need it. But now we just decorate. Just add everything in. Potatoes. I might have actually used too many potatoes, but can you ever have too many potatoes? And now I'm just going to dump this on top, close it up. I might need a little bit more liquid actually. All right, I'm gonna have to put you guys down to pour. I topped it off with some salt and pepper. I didn't add any more liquid. I found that I actually didn't need it. So salt and pepper on top. Close it up. I'm gonna do six hours on high and check the temperature. And Sunday dinner is done. All right, now I'm gonna get my workout in. So I picked up this piece of art from Steven. Why is it special? Because I spent a week in Joshua Tree National Park and it's a picture of a Joshua Tree forest, which I love. What kind of trees are those? Joshua trees. <laughs> I didn't know, I thought, <laughs> I thought Joshua Tree was the name of Oh my Park. god. I didn't know there was an actual tree named a Joshua tree. Well, they're not actually trees, they're yuccas, but they call them Joshua trees. Did you know that? Yes. Oh, geez Louise. I can't even know what a Joshua tree was. No. Oh, for God's sake. I just thought it was the name of a park. Oh my gosh, I'm a little embarrassed now. Tell me I'm not alone. All right, friends, I am making lunch. For lunch, I'm doing some veggie tacos. So here's the deal. I think with diet and health and all of that, there needs to be balance. So I try to have most of my breakfast and lunch be completely meatless. And then I definitely do meat for dinner. It's all about balance. So doing a couple tortillas on the stove top. I'm gonna to do three. Oh, there are my wood tongs. Just going to get them heated up. And then in here I have some organic black beans and I just put some cumin, some chili powder, onion powder, salt, pepper. I think that's it. And then let me get some lights on. And then I have some kale and red cabbage, some avocado, some lime, some tropical mango salsa, which I really like. It's actually called island salsa. Some pickled jalapeno. And that's going to be my tacos. This is lunch, look how beautiful it is. And it was really reasonable. It's prepped for the week and it's easy peasy. So I'm gonna enjoy my tacos. Then I have some of the silver dollar eucalyptus, some regular eucalyptus. I bought a couple more of these. I don't know what anything is called. These thistly things, some of these, and then some more olive branches. And I'm gonna show you how I do this. So this one's for my coffee table. This one's for my island. What I did so far is it's a water, a cap full of bleach, and then I split the flower crystal packets between them. And I'm going to use some old fashioned scotch tape and I'm going to build grids out on top of these. This is what the grid looks like. I am not super precious with it. I literally just have it there to do the job of holding up the greens as I place them. So the first thing I start with is 
usually like my most like droopy green that I'm going to use that will kind of fill the base and then I'll go in with my other pieces. So I'm just gonna get this eucalyptus arranged in there and then I'll go from there and tell you the next step. I am done with this arrangement. Look how beautiful that looks. Now, some of you will wanna use your grid and make very symmetrical flowers. That's not my style. My style is asymmetric, very much like you just grabbed a handful out in the woods and plopped them in. Although I really thought fully arranged like where I wanted height and what I wanted leaning and balanced it out. But look how beautiful this is. And it's really so stunning. And then I'll show you the one in the living room. I actually picked these up from the Studio McGee fall launch and they arrived in the mail yesterday. But once again, this one is just super organic and easygoing. And yeah, that tape trick is great. The bleach will help sustain them and start with your more floppy, um, like base plant first, then work from largest to smallest, filling in all your spots. And then always have like your last accent going at the end. So really happy with how these look. And they will last about two weeks. My other ones lasted about two weeks. And then as things browned, I either trimmed them or just pulled them out. So, and what's awesome about the, that bouquet, because it's so natural, as I find things on the hillside that look good this week, I'll clip them and add them in. Flowers are done. So we're cooking, we've arranged some flowers, we're doing all the things. Here is where I ended up putting that chair that I got from Studio McGee. They have a footstool that I think I'm going to get to go there as well, but it looks really good. I also debated on getting a second one, just not sure. I really, really like it though. Looks good with that sconce. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's also super comfortable. All right, chair is in, dinner is going. I just finished getting the pot roast all prepped and pretty. So here it is all finished up. It looks beautiful and so good. So we just finished dinner. It was delicious, Stephen loved it. Sadly, because I was sick, I didn't do any gardening this summer and I'm a little bit bummed about it, but I gotta show you something Steven is working on. So this is the one side of our house. <laughs> I'm, I'm so upset that he's growing these alongside the house, but it is what it is. But he is growing mammoth sunflowers. These things are supposed to reach 15 feet. He has grown them from seed. He also has some littler I think they are, I forget what they're called. Oh, he'll have to tell you in another video. But like, look how huge. He really wants to get one to that window. That's like his end goal. So we have these going. And then my mom did do, I love this willow tree. Um, my mom did do some of my planting for me. So, like, there's really nothing going on. But my mom did these pots for me, and they look so good. It's hard to tell right now if you can see them. But yeah, I just didn't... Last year, this was, like, full of flowers. And all of this down there was full of flowers. Didn't do too much... Oh, I'm also wearing one of my shirts. If you're interested in checking them out, they're linked down below. But... Yeah, didn't do a whole lot of planting. The rest of the day is going to be pretty chill. I have work to do tomorrow. I have a couple meetings to go to, a couple interviews. Um, yeah, and I'm probably gonna try to film either an Amazon video, some form of a sit down video this week as well. Vlog maybe towards the end of the week again, but I'm just happy to be back. But I'm going to wrap up this video like I wrap up all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind, my friends. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be soon. Bye-bye.